Oh, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newcrickbooks.com. So that's our website, newcrickbooks.com. I'll show you our website first. Okay, this is our website, newcrickbooks.com. And uh, uh, this video, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, so past due stamp on invoices. So past due stamp on invoices. So if you come to our website, you will see QuickBooks 2018. Uh, you will see a list of all uh, QuickBooks 2018 desktop new features. And if you need to buy QuickBooks, uh, we have a external, external affiliate link into it. Uh, you can buy Premier uh, Pro from here. You can buy it online. It'll take you to uh, into QuickBooks and buy it online. And if you have any questions, uh, you can just click it here. Uh, this is for desktop. This is for desktop. And if you are into QuickBooks online, you need to get some uh, uh, video tutorials of, uh, or any uh, QuickBooks online information, you can click it here. So it will take you to uh, QuickBooks uh, online website, uh, online uh, uh, blog. So the, the website is newqbo.com, newqbo.com. And this website is very, very popular for uh, QuickBooks Online. Uh, so you want to check it out. Okay, so this focuses on uh, uh, invoice pass to stamp in here. So this is the one you're talking about. Uh, so this invoice is, is pass due. So I'm using uh, QuickBooks Accountant Desktop 2018. So the moment the invoice is pass due, it will show uh, invoice past due stamp in there so uh, uh it wasn't there in 2007 this one is 2007 it was invoice at the same time but you don't see uh invoice in here so uh uh but uh if you want to print or email uh just as it is without changing the format print the preview or email you don't see uh uh pass to stamp in here so what you need to do is right now you're on main you see the formatting and then you have to customize your data uh, layout for your uh, invoice template so main you on main invoice and switch to formatting and then click customize data layout at the bottom you see basic customization and here you will see print pass to stamp print pass to stamp so just click that one and now you have pass to and click it and uh, okay it and now you have a uh, 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 pass to stamp so this one is turned off first so you have to turn it on and now uh, you know you can see uh, you can see your uh, stamp in here when you print it Right here, oh, it's off now. Okay, so pass to uh, stamp in here. Okay, so if you have some sensitive, uh, so this will apply to all the customers. Now, when you send out all the past invoices, it will apply to all the customers. But if you have some sensitive uh, customers and you don't want to bug them with pass to uh, notice. So all you have to do is open the invoice, pass the invoice, and then turn this off. And then when you print it, uh, you won't see that pass to invoice. So if you look at the 2017, the same way, I mean, this is 2017 account and same uh, accounting version. So it's just the formatting, custom data layout, and you will see the difference in here. So here's the print stamp, but you don't see the pass to one in here. So let's see here. See right here, and on the uh, new one, you will see it's right here. Print pass to stamp. Another one, uh, they don't have that one. There's a difference. Okay, so uh, 
that's about it on uh, so pass to stamp on invoices uh you know uh, if you want to subscribe to our youtube channels uh we have two channels youtube.com or class vp controller vp controller the one you're watching right now and the other one is for quickbooks online youtube.com forward slash quickbooks qbo thank you for watching bye